Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Majesty. What do you want? Uh, I... I... Speak up! My... My name is Chukube, the hunter. I know who you are. All right. Just tell me why you are here. I... I am, I am here to see the princess. What business do you have with the princess? She, she is my friend and she asked me to come and see her. What? Father, mother, this is my friend, Chikube. He is the bravest hunter in Amawusu's kingdom. Father, he is the one my heart yearns for. I, I love him, not to be him. Young man, before I close my eyes and open them, get out of my palace! Get out! You know, you can't do this, father. I love that man. I love him. Get out! Get Come back here! Get Come back! Yes! Don't allow her! Yes! Don't allow her! Go! Yes! Don't allow her! Very good morning. Chica, good morning. Chikube, can't you please offer me a seat? No, I can't. It's too early. Can't you see I'm getting set for my daily business? But Chikube, I came to see you. Chica, it is too early for this drama. I want to go hunting. Can you just go? Chikube, why are you doing this to me? Why? Are you hurting me? Chikube, what is it that you desire in a woman that I don't have? Chikube, just take a good look at me. Eh? Chika, I am not interested in your love story. In fact, I'm not in the mood. And it's time for... Leave now. It's too early for this. Do you not find me interesting? Hi. Okay, tell me. What is it that you want? Tell me. I will give it to you double. You don't have to pretend. Just tell me. I will, I will have it done. Check away, please, now. Uh, listen, I've said this countless times. I am not interested in your love story. Admar, Kauko, love. Leave me alone. Let me focus now. Check away. Step back. Away, step back. Step back. Stay near. Don't come close. Listen, I am not pretending. This is me for you. I don't know how love. Huh? I'm not interested in your love. Let me be now. You could be pleased now. Eh? Will you ever talk without bringing in your hunting? This is not all about your hunting. No. It's all about us. Us? You and who? No, no, no. Us. You know any for us? Eh? Chica, listen. Listen, don't get me angry this morning. My message is simple. I am not interested in your love. Just go. I, I, I 
I don't want to get angry this morning. Leave. Katon, give me that kind love. Na na na, us. This is how you go around black, black, blackmailing people. What is it? You are not looking bright. What is troubling you, my love? Afa, I've warned you to stop calling me your love. I am not your love. Did you hear that? But I love you so much. Hmm. I want to marry you. Just give me a chance. Let me come in. Afa, please leave me alone. I have so many things to think now. Just let me be. But I won't let you do that. I love you so much. Why don't you give me a chance to come in? Please. But unfortunately, my heart belongs to someone else. Hmm? Yes. Your heart belongs to someone else? And who is that? She could be my friend? <laughs> yes, you already know. So don't pretend as if you don't know. Chica. Don't tell me that you still throw yourself on a man who does not love you. No, 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 don't tell me that. Chikube does not love you. And he will never, he will never love you. So, how did you know about it? How oh, I knew about it? Yes. Chikube is my bosom friend. We discuss every discussion together. Every secret we talk together is my bosom friend. Eh? Chikube does not have anything to do with any woman. It's all nigga love with your people like us. Just give me a chance. Let me come in, please. Mm -hmm. Afam, do you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't also love you. And never will I. Huh? My heart is with Jacob. I shall continue to love and wait for him until he sees reason to love me in return. Just keep your love to yourself. Huh? Oh, love. Chica! Look at this girl. Great hunter of Amawo Nzuzu. How was your hunting today? As you can see, the gods blessed me as usual. Hmm. My princess, to what do I owe this unexpected visit? Well, I just came to greet the bravest hunter of Amawo Nzuzu kingdom. My princess, if you... If you need bushmeat, you can send for me. I will bring it to the palace. You are not supposed to stress yourself by coming to my poor home. Hmm. It would be foolish for me to say I don't know that you are tired. Let me help you. Huh? Yes. <laughs> no, my princess. This will stain you. You can't say no to me. Go on. Let's go to your house. Oh, this is the
mother. Where are you coming from? Me. Where are you coming from? Greetings, mother. You still have not answered my question. Where are you coming from without the palace guards? Mother, why am I always monitored? I feel like I'm living in bondage. You still have not answered me. I went to see a friend. A friend, you said? Yes, mother. Without the guards. Mother, because I always go with my guards. I need my privacy. Besides, I went with my maids. You are the princess of Amamu Suzukenda. Forgotten? Mother. The only daughter of Iguapiti. You are royal Tiadure. Being a princess does not mean I have to live in bondage, mother. Nobody is holding you captive. Talk more of any bondage. Just that you must learn to go out with the guards for security reasons. Oh yes! If your father hears that you move out without them, he would be happy with you. Please, do not allow this to repeat itself again. Do you hear me? Yes, mother. You may leave. Are you saying that Princess Adure, the only daughter of uh, Iguapene, came to your house here? I know you won't believe, but that's the truth. Uh, she came. No, I believe it. But I'm surprised. I was surprised too. Mm -hmm. To crown it all, she said she only came to greet me. Greet. Eh? Uh -huh. hey. The gods have favored you. The gods have favored you. How? Are you not suspecting something? Like what? The princess is falling in love with you. Huh? Um. No. The princess is falling in love with me. No. How can a princess fall in love with an ordinary hunter? Mm -mm. It's not possible. This is no matter of ordinary. It is no matter of your status. What matters is you are the bravest hunter in Amawosu. Mm -hmm. You are the bravest hunter in Amawosu. Listen, many medics are there. Maybe killing themselves just to come close to you. Maidens, fine and good. But princess, mm -mm, I doubt. <clears throat> Meanwhile, please, I don't want anybody to hear about this. So keep it to yourself. If it's your own, that's not a problem. The only thing is, um, as long as you keep you know, I mean, I'm near you. And I'm going to go to Day to day. Day in, day out. Give me bush meat. I'm near you. You are sick. I'm going to take a good time. I'm going to go. I have the gods. I greet you. I greet you too. Our people say that there is certainly no smoke without fire. Therefore, I ask, what brings you to my humble home this night? Wise one, I bring you greetings from our all knowing king, King Apete I of Amamozuzu. I greet you too. The last New Year festival was celebrated two market weeks ago. 
and the next festival of Amawazuzu, which is Eguamara, is just around the corner. We know that it is the gods that set the dates for the festival. So our king, King Apiti, has sent me to you to inquire of the gods when they have proposed for the festival. If Apiti has done well, may his reign be long. He said, as you know, I am only a mouthpiece of the gods. I can only say what they ask me to say. Therefore, go back to Iguapete. Tell him that I will consult the gods immediately. And whatever they say, before sunset tomorrow, I will get back to him. Wise one, I have heard what you said. I will deliver your message to Igwe, as you said. May the gods be praised. He said... My princess, greetings. How are you today? I'm fine. Please sit. You are welcome, my princess. Thank you. Would you? Yes, Papa. Leave us. Mm. You're really trying. Staying here all by yourself. My princess, I. What will I do? Since my parents died, I have been staying all alone. But my friend Nafamifna comes once in a while to keep me company. And also other maidens of Amawuzu Kingdom who trip in here to identify themselves with you. <laughs> um, my princess. Anyways, but... I brought you food. Food. No, my, my princess, you shouldn't have. You are a princess. You are not supposed to bring food for a poor hunter like me. Me being a princess or daughter of a king, it's not wrong to bring food for a dear friend. <laughs> but you are still a princess. You are not supposed to. You are not poor. Stop saying that. You are the bravest hunter in Amaozuzu Kingdom. Okay? Okay, but... Save your breath. Would you? Come.
This is this is royal <laughs> flask. Igwe, uh, last night I succeeded in meeting Okedibia, the chief priest, as you instructed. Good, and what was the outcome of your meeting with the chief priest? He promised to consult the gods immediately and bring back words to you when that is done. Good. Mm. We all know that the gods are the ones that will announce the date for the Iguamara festival. So once that is done, we will move into action. Uh, Igwe, if I may suggest, uh, don't you think it would be wise for us to start making plans already so that we don't run into pressure when the date is finally announced? I think I agree with you perfectly. We all know that uh, Iguamara festival is not new in Amozu. Uh, and we all know how it is uh, celebrated. But I want us to plan towards making this year's celebration a more unique one. Igwe, I, I think we are thinking the same way. Uh, I, I feel we should go global this time, possibly by involving other neighboring communities in the Aguama. In that way, it will be very unique. As you just said. Yeah, I agree with you. I Meanwhile, we need to summon the entire council of elders and start preparation towards it and then wait for the announcement from the chief priest. <coughs> you are right. I think uh, we should start from the suggestion of uh, you know, I say we should involve other communities to make. Tell me. How did you become the bravest hunter of Amawuzu's kingdom? Well, um, let's just say, let's just say it's um, a natural gift from the gods. Yes, I inherited it from my late father. Mm. He was a great hunter. He killed a lion. That's why they call him Obuago. A lion? Yes. That's great. What do you think you're like your father? Um, not really. I just say I'm trying. Well, I think you are better than your father. Really? Yes. And I'm sure all the maidens of this land would love to identify themselves with you. Uh, yes, but I, I, I don't give them attention. You don't? Can you swear to the gods on that? I swear by the gods, I don't. Anyways, um, thank you for the bushmates. It's nothing, my princess. You can call on me anytime you need bushmates. I will gladly supply. Oh, that's nice of you. You're a nice person. Thank you. I like you. I mean, I like your kind of person. Princess. Yes? I want to say something. I just hope you won't be angry. What's that? Go on, say it. What's the problem? I... I... I like you. Yes. You are beautiful and humble at the same time. I like you. 
dreaming this is life hallelujah hallelujah i'm not dreaming this is life thank you You have still not answered my question. Where are you coming from? My husband. She went to hold it, woman. Hold it. Just hold it. She can answer for herself. Where are you coming from? Father, I went to get something. Went to buy something without your gas. And what is that you're holding? It's bushmeat, Father. I felt like eating bushmeat, so I asked you to take me to where it's being sold. How many times have I warned you not to go out of this palace without the palace guards? How many times? I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry for what? I'm sorry that you were told and you did not do it. Or sorry that nobody told you. What are you being sorry for? I'm sorry, I won't do it again. My husband, please forgive her. She will not leave the palace again without the palace guards. Please. Okay, uh, the, the guards will help you prepare the meat. Guards! You are my very good friend. I welcome you once again to my palace. Thank you. You already know why we are here. It's been two weeks since we came to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. And if you remember, you did tell me that we should give you some time so that you can discuss things with her. Now we have come to get a response from you. Yes, Ibora. We have been friends from childhood. We grew up together, did things together. You see, the marriage of your son, the prince, to my daughter, the princess, will go a long way to cement and strengthen our very good relationship. That's true. That's true. That is why I am fully in support of this marriage. You are indeed my great good friend. Good. Well, there's something we need to uh, take note of. Yeah. We, the parents, are not the one getting married. It is our children. So, we must allow them to do their thing. I don't know if you understand what I am saying. Of course I do. Yes, I do. Good. Uh, we need to allow them to get to know each other, to understand the feelings they have for each other, so that the love will flow and then we take it from there. <laughs> yes. Igwe, are you actually saying I will go to her and beg her to marry me? Surely that. But what I am saying is that we, your parents, will decide on the marriage. But then you need to get to know each other. Enter into that synergy that will bring you to the point of becoming a husband and wife. Yes, that's what I mean. What is whom? Eh? What is whom? What Igwe Apete is saying is correct. After all, she's a woman. Father, don't father me here. Do you understand me? Don't father me. Don't you know that you have to beg a woman in hand for marriage? You have to razzle her. You have to talk to her. You have to cuddle her. But father, I am a prince. Do you know how many maidens threw themselves at me? She's also a princess. Do you understand me? And you have to respect her. Um, but she's not my class. Shut up. Shut up.
shut your mouth up. Father, she's not my class. I want you. I have want you. Why don't you want to get married to me? Don't you want to swim in the splendor of royalty? My prince. Yes? Please, let's not go over this again. I have already told you that. You are not ready to get married, isn't it? Well, yes. Even if I want to, I have the right to make my choice. Oh, stop talking rubbish. Are you truly a princess? Does royal blood flow in your veins? I beg your pardon. If you are truly a princess, they act like God. Do not insult me. The crown prince of Anaba Kingdom is asking for your hand in marriage and here you are talking about making your own choice. If I may ask, do you have a choice? Do you know who I am? Do not insult me. <laughs> I, I think one poor village boy is somewhere brainwashing you. I can see you have nothing to say. Dare no fuck out of me. Do you know how many women are ready to kill themselves just because of me? Then go to them and stop disturbing me. <laughs> oh, you really think I'm doing this because I love you, right? Sorry to disappoint you. I am only doing this to please my father. Let go of my arms. I said let go of my arms. What, what is happening here? Ask your daughter. My princess, what is it? Mother, tell this mad, stupid dog to stop insulting me. Did you hear that? She just called me a mad, stupid dog. The crown prince of Anaba Kingdom. A mad, stupid dog. This is royal disgrace. I will not take it. My I can't take it. My, my, prince. my prince, my prince. Mother, let him go and never to come back. Royal disgrace my foot. Father, Father, let's leave this place now. Leave here? Yes! What is it? Let's leave this place now before I do something dangerous. So what, what happened, my prince? What, what is the problem? That daughter of yours that you call a princess just called me a stupid mad dog. The crown prince of another kingdom, a stupid mad dog. I will not take it. Father, let's leave this place now. I'm leaving. God, God, I can't handle this. We can handle it. Just take it. We can handle it. Just take it easy. Let me go after him. I'll get back to you. Eh? We can handle it. Father! Father! I'm leaving. Of a daughter is this? Well, take her! Do you know what you've just done? Eh? Mother, what did I do? You rejected another suitor. For crying out loud, Mother, don't I have right to make my own decision? Do you need someone to tell you that you are a princess? Mother, I do not love Dubim. 
I cannot marry him. He's so stupid. He's so arrogant. He's so rude. In fact, he's... Oh, shut up. Shut up. What do you know about love? Eh? Can you recall how many suitors you've just rejected? Eh, hey, Adure. Look, you are not getting any younger. You need to get married. You need to have your home. Of course I will get married. But certainly not Dubim. Because I will never marry him. Never. Then prepare to die. Because I will strangle you to death with my bare hands. Do you know what you have just done? You have not just rejected another suitor like you have always done. You are trying to, 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 to tarnish my very good relationship with my very good friend, Iwe Ora. And that will not be done. I, Igwe, please. Please calm down. I beg you. Please. She's still a child. Did you say a child? Did I just hear you say a child? What child? I do a child? No. You better talk to your daughter. Because she must marry Prince Dupim. And I mean every word I say. I am a king. Have you seen what you've cost? You made your father angry because of your stubbornness. Ah! That's my, my princess. You both should wait here while I go with my maid to see a friend. But my princess, he will give a strict order that we should follow you anywhere you go. And I said you both should wait here. But my princess, are you arguing with me? I said both of you should wait here. Is that understood? Mate, let's go. <laughs> Home. I want to spend my life. What are you doing? Nothing really. I I brought you food.
you brought me food as what my wife my mother call gone eleni which huh chikwe am i not good for your wife material huh. why are you doing this to me why do you hurt me so much this is what i have been avoiding I'm hurting you, how? Why are you blackmailing me emotionally? Huh? Listen, it's not like I hate you, but I can't give what I don't have. I have no feelings for you, no connection. It can't work, so leave me alone. Jacoby, please, let's give it a try. Huh? I know I love you so much, and soon you'll learn to love me, please. Me, we learn to love you. My sister, no such time. Hey. Take your food and leave. Jacob, please, now. I'm losing my mind. Jacob, please. I beg you in the name of the gods. Please. I will baptize you with this food. Hey! I will baptize you with this food. Kato, come on, you go. Leave now. I will baptize you with this food. My friend, leave the mother can't call off. Get out of this place. My friend, will you get out of this place? Go now. Say what? You don't let me. Hey. My princess. You are welcome. Please sit. Don't mind that distraction. You won't believe it. He rejected my food. The food I sent to him, he rejected it. Sister, it's okay. You don't have to kill yourself because of him. But you know what I passed through to prepare the food? I know. But you can still come up with another plan. This is not the end. Amara, what else will I do? What have I not done? Amara, tell me. If you ask me, Chekube must love you. Yes. how? You know men of nowadays, they hardly open up to women easily. So if you ask me, I would say you should continue on what you're doing. He will open up one day and show you some love. Yes. <laughs> yes. What are you doing here? My lord. Can you trust me to my place? My love, um, Chica, I saw the way you walked past me without saying a word. So I felt something was wrong with you. Then I decided to come and check on my love what troubles you. <laughs> your love, as your wife or my father, 
Why are you turning it to a turn on my on my flesh? Um, um my love. She does she not do love you. So you better leave before our parents return. Because what will happen to you, <laughs> you will not like yourself. Um Chi Chim My love. Anyway. Anyway, let's thank the gods that you are okay. Mm -hmm. Let's thank the gods that you are okay. Um, I'll be on my way now. Wait, wait, Afa. Just leave, please. Just go! Sister, what kind of problem is this, sir? I don't know. Yeah. Just look at him. What does he really want from you? Just look at him. It is the best of uh, Amaru's tradition. And everyone is looking forward to that day, especially the maidens. Yes, Ingwe. They are all preparing to showcase their talents respectively. Yes, that's the most interesting part of the festival. Exactly. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness. Yes, uh, rice. What is it? Your Highness, the Chief Priest of Amaos is here to see you. Uh, let him in. I will do just that, Your Highness. I'm sure he's here to announce the date for the Guamara Festival. And please excuse us, my dear. It's okay, my husband. Your days on the throne of your fathers be long. He said. And may anyone that seek your life sleep and never wake up. He said, he said. You were the gods sent me to tell you that the Ugama festival will be held on the next four Unko market days. And as such, the preparation need to begin and the rituals that follow as soon as possible. I will do exactly that. You were I beg to take my leave. May your reign as the king of Amos be peaceful. He said, he said, he said, he said. He said. It's heavy. Oh, sorry. Am I getting it right? Watch me. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Yes. Okay. So are we not going to search for something or just... No, 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 no. Okay. So, okay. so the next thing we do now is... Let me uh, do what you see next. Yeah. And then uh, I want to teach you again. Okay. 
I've got to say, I've loved you guys too, you know, I've loved you, and then, um, you're supposed to feel it here. Princess. Anyways, I brought you food. Food? No, my princess, you shouldn't have. You're a princess, you're not supposed to bring food for a poor hunter like me. Me being a princess or daughter of a king, it's not wrong to bring food for a dear friend. But you are still a princess, you are not supposed to. Don't bring me this is life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm not dreaming, this is life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, <sighs> Uli, what have I not done to catch Chikubim's attention? I have done everything, but he's still not interested in me. <laughs> Do you know if he has any woman by his side? I am not sure. He seems not to be interested in a female folks. <laughs> Are you sure he's a complete man? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I'm sorry. I was just being curious. But a young man of his status is supposed to have an affair with a girl or even girls. You know he's the most successful and bravest hunter in this village. <laughs> yes, I know. Then women supposed to be flooding his house on a daily basis. Just the same way I thought, but I have not seen any woman with him. <laughs> See, still keep tab on him. Huh? Eh, you know some men they can be tricky. Eh? Just follow him and check whether he has an affair. Eh? That's exactly what I'm doing. Uh -huh. Come to think of it. What of arm now? Arm is best for you. What do you mean? Arm came to meet me. He's telling me about how he loves you. She's <laughs> let me cut it. Please can we talk about another thing? Uh -huh. Yes, let's forget about I uh, am. Okay. Every time I am am. Can't I rest? What are you doing? I'm selecting games. I see. Yeah. So how did it go? Oh, the meeting went very well. Oh, well. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Where are my daughters? They are around. Please call them, call them, call them. Chica! Chica!
Chica. Chica. Amara. Mama. Please come. Your father wants to see you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. <laughs> you sit down. The Iguamara Festival has been announced. Hey! <laughs> That's good. Yes. <laughs> so, mm. when is the date? Oh. The date has been fixed for the next for Nkwo Market Weeks. Hey, that's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my daughters, you have to get set, you have to get yourself prepared. Hmm? Teach yourself the best dance steps yes. that will move the way on that day. Hmm? Papa, don't worry, I know what to do. Thank the gods that the date has been announced. That day, I will come back with the biggest prize. <laughs> That's my daughter. You can say that. That's my daughter. Um, uh, is my food ready? Yes, it's ready. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm Amara, hungry. go and get your father. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Chica, are you okay? Is, is anything the matter? Mama, I am fine. Are you sure you are okay? Mama, I said I'm fine now. Huh? Are you sure you are okay? Mama, I'm I'm okay, Mama. Ha! Ha! Into. So you think I will find out? Okay. Find out what? And you went to Chekube's house with a bunch of plantain. Are you not ashamed of yourself? What are you talking about? Oh, shut up and stop pretending. You're not the same person that swore never to throw yourself on Chekube. Asa. A better shame on you. Asa, I have had enough of this nonsense. Oh, what will you do? Listen, let me warn you. The next time I see this, your two tiny crayfish legs in this compound, I swear, I will teach you a lesson. Asa, did you just call my legs crayfish legs? And what are they? Asa, I think I've had enough of this nonsense. We have to settle this here and now. It's okay, it's okay. What's happening, ma'am? Chekube, I don't know how to say this. I've been finding it difficult to tell you, but let me say it. Uh, 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 let me say it. Uh, I'm in love with uh, Chica. I, I so much love her. Then walk up to her and tell her. And you think I've not been doing that? I've done something bigger than that already. Mm -hmm. eh? Yet she, she, she keeps telling me uh, uh, that she's not in love with me. That, uh, 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 in fact, and you know what her problem is all about. Eh? So what's her problem? That she's in love with you now. That uh, uh, her heart belongs to you. That she sees no other man in our armors, if not you. The bottom line is, I don't love her in return. So it doesn't make sense. I'm not dreaming, this is life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm not dreaming, this is life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
If I tell you I'm not confused here, then I lie. I'm confused. But, but my my problem now is uh, my my princess. How are you? That was my friend um, Afam, the one I told you about. Oh, I see. Please, what do I offer you? What do you offer me? You know, I've really been salivating for that roasted yam. Roasted yam? My princess, honestly speaking, I can't believe this. Believe what? <laughs> that <laughs> an ordinary hunter like me. Chikube, you are not ordinary. You are the bravest hunter in this land. Stop calling yourself ordinary. Or which other dog would you have preferred? No. I'm addicted to hunting. Yes. I can't do anything else despite hunting. You see why I said you are not ordinary? You're a brave hunter. Thank you. I have seen that girl here before. Who is she? Her name is Chica. Mazio Conta's daughter. And what is she doing here? Don't worry, my princess. I will explain later. You will explain later? Do we have to go to somewhere private for us to discuss that? Hmm. Let me check the yam on fire. Ah, Amara. Amara, sister. Amara, is he not the princess? Amara, what does she want from him? What is she doing in his house? Sister. Ah. Sister. It might not be what you are thinking of. Eh? You, you never can tell. Amara, I know what I saw in their eyes. Amara, I'm a young girl. Eh? This is strange. Hey. Sister, do you know how many suits of the princess have turned down? How can she now go to Chikube? Why? Amara, do you still not believe what I'm telling you? Amara, the princess has feelings for Chikube. Okay, tell me. What is the almighty princess of Amamus be doing in the house of just an ordinary hunter? Can you explain that for me? 
Sister, in that case, you have to make more research and have fat to back your accusation. Amara. Did you hear yourself? Amara, call up on even a young nature. Call up on even a young nature that the princess so. You become what? Amara. What business do you have with the princess? Listen, Mama. But I just said you mentioned her name. Mama, I have nothing to do with her. I'm more gonna need to talk to her. Amen. What's wrong with your sister? Nothing, Mama. She's fine. Are you sure she's fine? Yes, Mama. Are you very sure? Yes. <laughs> she better be fine, no. My princess, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I am. Just wait. Wait to the right sign. That means I'm favored by the gods. Yes, you are. And you have won the heart of the princess. The gods are wise. Indeed, they are wise. And also you have won the heart of the gods. Um, mm -hmm. When are you coming to the palace to see me? Um, my princess, you know your father the king. He's a man everybody fears and respects. Oh please, come off that. Are you coming to honey? Are you? No, but don't worry, I know what to do. Hmm. I have told you to stop calling me your princess. Especially when we're in a private place like this. Call me your love. Yes, I did. I have given everything to our plans of you getting married to the princess of Amawozu Kingdom. But, Father, I thought we have discussed this over and over again and concluded that I am not going back to Amawozu. That girl is not my class. No speak no such things from your tongue. That girl will be the best thing that would happen to you. Father, I am not going back to Amaozu and that is final. No speak no such things from your tongue or your mouth. Do you know that I am your father, also king? You will not take decisions here, especially when I'm alive. I want you to marry her. Why? What is so special about that girl? Why do you want me to marry that good for nothing girl? Why do you have to speak in this manner? Do you know that your tongue is of royalty? You're supposed to speak wisdom out of your tongue. Not for you to speak what is not royal. I'm sorry, Father, but that girl is no match for me. That has always been your problem. Since you were born, your ego. You want to prove superior to everybody, everyone else. I want you to marry her. Father, why are you pressing on me marrying this girl? Is she the only girl in the both communities? Father, I don't think I love that girl. I don't. Son, every superman needs a superwoman. Okay? So, I need you. 
that girl that you are referring to is full of energy. She is well cautioned and well trained. Besides, her father and I are very good friends. But father, she insulted me and called me the crown prince of Anaba, the stupid mad dog. Called you such names. I know what you would have called her. Father. You don't have to follow me. Let that be by God. I've already spoken to you. My friend. We are going back to the palace of ours very soon. I had to do my about this. <laughs> Are you asking me? Uh, well, my father told me about it. The date has been disclosed by Okediva, the chief prince. <laughs> uh, my heart is pumping with happiness. Uh, Honestly, this time around, I'm not going to wait. Okay? Because I have to prepare ahead of time. Yes. Certainly, my sister. And we need to start our night rehearsal. Yes, so this is where we separate maiden from maidens. And now, I get away to say, Oh, yeah, ma, the kids in the mama. Eh, go on, I walk off, ma. The copper. Anyway, I trust myself. They will know why I am called Amara. And you all already know that the festival is called Ego Amara. Oh, yeah. You could not tell him both. Well, you know, I'm here. <laughs> Both of you are dreaming. As for me, I don't talk too much because I know what to do. <laughs> Lele, look who is talking. Which dance step are you talking about? I hope you are not trying to compete with me because you know I can dance more than you. <laughs> hey, do you even think that the way of all people will even look at you and that dance step? Dance step. Do you? you? <laughs> Butterflies calling themselves. <laughs> Don't worry. When we all get to the bridge, we all know how to cross it. Okay? What do you mean? I'm asking you. Nega! Nega! Ha! Olemo, please help me talk to her. Tell her how much I love her. That I want to marry her. Well, you know it now. It's not in my power to convince her to marry you. I know. But she's your friend. She's your friend. And she listens to you. Yes, yeah, she does. But you know she can now. I know. But you can still talk to her. You can still talk to her. Make her to understand how much I love her. I want to marry her. But wait. What, do, what does she tell you when you approach her? Nothing really. She only tells me that uh, I, I am disturbing her, that uh, uh, her heart belongs to someone else. Then she has told you everything now. Eh? What else do you want me to tell her again? Huh? That means you don't understand what I'm talking about. Listen, in our village here, in tell of our village, the only person my heart yes for, the only one I love so much is Chica. I want to marry her, please. Help me, beg her to, to marry me. Look at my age. Am I not advanced to get married? Am you I are. not? You are. Oh, oh, tell her to marry me, please. Okay. I've heard what you've said. Okay. I will try my best. Eh? I will try my best. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Listen, I will reward you for that. Uh -uh. Are you serious? No, anything within my reach. Just say oh. it, I will have it done. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're very serious. I mean it. <laughs> okay. I will talk to her for mm. you. Then I will go, I will go and talk to her. Then I will get her reply back. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Jay, thank you very much. No problem. May the gods bless you. Say. Ah. Okay now. Take care. <laughs> ah. All right.
Chica, I know what I saw. The princess is having an affair with your man, Chekube. I know. I suspected it. I even saw the princess in his house. This time, I saw them with my two naked eyes. They were laughing and holding each other like husband and wife. Hulema, what do you want me to do? I don't want anybody to take away Chekube from me. Then you better wake up, Chika. Wake up! Because from what I am seeing, it's as if Chekube does not love you at all. Eh? Because if he does, then why is he messing around with the princess? Parading around uh, Amahozuzu eh, with her. Wake up, oh! So what do you suggest I do? Now you are talking. Eh? Aham. Aham is the right person for you. Aham loves you. Can't you see? Eh? If you ask me, I think you should give him a chance. Eh? I can see this is an opportunity for you to come and spoil my day. And do you know what? Aham is not my class. Eh? So I will never have anything to do with him. You know what? Excuse me. Hey. I've said my own. No. If you like, be wasting your time on someone who does not have feelings for you. Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes, my queen. It is abominable to stand before the queen of Amawuzu's kingdom and give false information. Let the god strike me dead if I lie. Princess, your daughter is going out with Chikube, the hunter. My queen, I am so scared. I'm so scared each time to, she sent me to go and give him something. Please, my queen, you have to talk to her. Oh, it's okay. I freed you. You can now leave. Thank you, my queen. One more thing. Do not let any other ear hear about this. Keep it to yourself. Yes, my queen. I ask you again. What do you have with Chekube the hunter? And don't you dare lie to me. Mother, why are you asking me such question? Is that supposed to be the answer to my question? Okay. Chikube is a friend. How could you? How could you descend so low to make friend with a mere hunter? A nobody? Adure, do you remember who you are? Do you realize that you are a princess? Mother, what has me being a princess got to do with this? Oh, shut up! I am so disappointed in you. You want to bring shame to royalty. But I will not allow you to do that. Well, what have I done wrong? I, I don't get it. What have I done wrong? Leave my presence now before I do something drastic. Leave! Oh my goodness. What is wrong with this girl? What? What has come over her? Since that good for nothing boy, I mean, they abandoned me. No boy has 
ever shown interest on me. Afam, I want you. Stop disturbing yourself about my friend Chica. She is not meant for you. Her heart belongs to somebody else. I deserve you. And I will have you. I know what to do. Your palace is like my home. Uh, you are welcome anytime, any day. You see, our friendship has come a long way. Right from the time our parents were alive. This, this is your home. Huh? You, you are uh, not just a friend, but a brother. That is why we must ensure that Duben, my son here, gets married to your daughter. That is a certainty. The deed is done already. I have spoken seriously to my daughter, the princess, and uh, I assure you, it is done. <laughs> I know. But let us tell her that if she leaves the palace, the king will bounce back at us and blame us for not stopping her from leaving the palace. So what do you think we should do now? I know. Let us tell her that someone is here to see her. Who is here to see me? The princess. I said who is here to see me? The princess. Who are around son to my here to see you? So what's my business if they are here to see my father? They should see him and leave. I already told the prince that I will not marry him. So they are not here to see me. My princess, they came to see you. And how did you know that? My princess, we were asked to tell you that the prince Dubin is here to see you. You were asked by who? My princess, by your father. beautiful elegant daughter the princess of Amamos. <laughs> greetings father thank you my dear greetings Igwe you're welcome you're indeed very beautiful thank you father I want to go and see a friend I'll be back shortly what kind of a talk is that Prince Duben is here to see you and if you are saying you want to go and see somebody who what kind of a friend is that? Oh, he's here to see me. Yes! What for? <clears throat> now look here, I do it. Don't think I came here to beg you to marry me. I only came because my father... Enough! Was... Oh. Now, be listen to me. There are lots of girls out there that will gladly jump at your proposal. But certainly not me. I will never marry you. Now if you are too deaf to understand what I just said, read my lips. I will never marry you. Father, did you hear that? Precious. Um, you be. What is happening here? I can handle this, my friend. I can handle it. Uh, princess. But I know you can handle it. What I don't understand is, why did you not handle this before we came? I assure you, I can handle this. Please. Didn't we discuss this? Uh, yes. Anyway, when you're through, Handling this issue, you can get back to me. For now, son, father, let's leave.
princess, come back here. Why in the name of the gods have you decided to bring shame to the royal family? Mother, I am not bringing any shame to this royal family. I will not marry Dubin. That is final. I have seen that you want to be the queen. But I will not have you do that. Because I will have you killed. Father, why do you want to sell me out to someone I do not love? Why? No one is selling you out to anybody. You are a princess. We want nothing but the best for you. You must marry Prince Dubem. And my decision is final. I am a king. No, father. Not on this one. I am sorry to disappoint you. I will not marry Dubem or whatever he's called. Allow me to make a decision on who to marry. Please. Not you, not mother, or anyone else can do that for me. I'm sorry about that. Adure! Adure! Your daughter is gone mad. You better talk to her because I will have no other option than to kill her mind. Why wouldn't I make decision for my only daughter? A very good decision for that matter. Very good decision. Greetings, Your Majesty. What is it? Your Highness, Chekube the hunter is here. Now let him in. What does he have with my daughter? I will not know until he comes to say what he wants. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Majesty. What do you want? Uh, I... I... Speak up! My... My name is Chokube, the hunter. I know who you are. All right. Just tell me why you are here. I... I am, I am here to see the princess. What business do you have with the princess? She, she is my friend and she asked me to come and see her. What? Oh. Father, mother, this is my friend, Chikube. He is the bravest hunter in Amawuzu's kingdom. Father, he is the one my heart yearn for. I, I love him, not to be him. Young man, before I close my eyes and open them, get out of my palace! Get out! No, no, you can't do this, father. I love that man. I love him. Yes. Come back here. Yes. Come back. Guards! Don't allow her! Guards! Don't allow her! No! Guards! Don't allow her! Zombie! Don't allow her! Introducing me to your parents was not part of our agreement. You should have told me, at least I would have prepared myself. But how long are we going to hide this from them? Can't 
Can't you see we are destined for each other? Fine and good, but the time is not right for me. Can't you see? Okay, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. But that shouldn't stop you from coming to the palace. My princess, please. I can't come to that palace anymore. I came because I promised to bring the bush meat after hunting. But as you can see, I was not favored by the gods. My traps caught nothing. So I just came because I promised I will. Let me go. I need to rest, please. Please. Jacob. Your Highness, please forgive me. I have taken my correction and I promise it will not happen again. I hate it when guards who are supposed to know what they do behave like zombies. Now you get out of my presence now, right now. Get out! Let it not repeat itself again. My husband, please calm down. Forgive her, Dure. She is still your daughter. She wants to bring disgrace and shame to this royal family. What was the meaning of Adure, what was the meaning of that drama you displayed here a while ago? Are you insane? Oh yes, she is insane. She is insane, but I am her father and I know how to cure your insanity. I cannot sit back here and watch my own daughter bring disgrace and shame into this royal household. You have the gods, the temerity, to stand before me, the king, and introduce the son of nobody. That's the one that you love. Huh? But he is not a nobody. His name is Chekube. Besides, I never introduced him to you as a nobody, but the one I love. I don't care what you people think. You see that man? I am ever ready to be the mother of his unborn children. I am ever ready to be the one to breastfeed his unborn children. If you mention that name again here, I will disown you here and now. Do you know the daughter of who you are? You push me to the wall, and I will bounce back at you. You just watch me. It seems you have grown wings. But trust me, I will cut those tiny wings of yours. See that man? I love him, and nothing you or father can do about it. Get out! Out! I love that man. I love him. Ulima, how are you? I'm fine now. I can see you are busy. Yes, the grasses are multiplying by the day. So I have to make out time today to clear them a little. Oh, that's okay. No? Ah. And but next time when your dream works like this, then you call me to help you. <laughs> okay, I bet. So um were you able to talk to Chica concerning what I told you? Yes, I did. Mm. Okay. So, what did she say? What is that special thing you see in Chica that makes you go mad? I love her. I feel for her. I see my wife and the mother of my unborn children in her. Please, help me beg her. I can't even sleep without thinking about her. Then you remove your mind from her because it won't work. 
It's going to work. How do you mean? See, Chica told me personally that her heart belongs to Chekube, your friend. <sighs> so, you have to look for another meeting. So, what do I do now? There are so many beautiful girls in this village. Pick one. Because chasing Chica is like chasing after your own shadow. Hmm. But Aham, Aham, uh -huh. what do you see in Chica that you don't see in me? Eh? What is that? I don't understand what you are talking about. See, Chica doesn't see anything good in you. But I do. I see you as a perfect husband. I know you'll be surprised to know that I'm dying to stay in your arms. Eh? Am I not beautiful enough? Eh? Uh -huh. eh? Am I not beautiful enough? Uh, uh, Ulima, um, you, you can see that I'm already busy. I'm working. So I will, I will advise you to start going now because you are not in your good mood. You are in your bad mood. Uh -uh. I'm not in any bad mood. The only mood I am now is to tell you I love you. Please don't do it. Why won't I? Give me one reason I shouldn't do it. <laughs> no, give me one reason I shouldn't do it. If the Queen Mother finds out that the princess is not in the palace, who do you think she would like? Who? Would you? You know, can't stop her from going out where she wants to. Have you forgotten the Queen Mother asks us to report to her whenever the princess is not in the palace? Have you? I know, boy, you, you know the princess is like her own friend, and she pleaded with us. She begged us not to tell the queen mother that she was out of the palace. Did you please don't do it? That is for both of you. But as for me, Ujungwa, I am going to report to the queen mother, and that is final. Nothing both of you can do about it. Ujung, Ujung, please, please don't do don't it. it. Don't. Ujung, Ujung. Princess. Yes. Can I feed you? Sure, why not? Greetings, Your Highness. Sorry. Greetings, Your Majesty.
gods of our mongoos. To what do I owe this visit? You are needed in the palace. What for? When you get there, you will know. Now come with us. I won't. I have decided not to step my foot into that palace again. Now, move it. Are you are you trying to refuse this call or what? Now move it. My brother, it's not that serious. It's not that serious yet. Let's go. I'm sorry, let's go. Listen and listen good. On no account should you allow the princess out of this palace today without my consent. If you eventually allow her to leave without me knowing it, you will have yourselves to blame. Am I understood? Yes, my queen. Good. And you, where are you going? And what's the meaning of this? My friend, will you leave my way? We are walking under instruction. What stupid instruction? The queen, your mother, gave us a strictly order never to let you leave this palace today without her permission. Your queen? Yes, my princess. Mother. Chikube. Hey! Chikube? Hey. Yes. What about him? I saw the palace guards dragging him away. Hey! Palace guards? Hey. Dragging hey. him to where? I don't know. I don't really know. But I think they're taking him to the palace. Hey! 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 This is serious. Hey! Hey! Okay. Don't worry. I have to go to the palace now. Huh? Let me go and find out what the problem is. Mm. Huh? Let me go there and find out what the problem is. Eh? So that when I come back, I will brief you. You don't need to go there with me for safety. Eh? So go back to your house. Let me go first. Mm? Okay. So just come on. Young man, get up. Look, this is just a tip of the iceberg. What they've done to you now is nothing to compare to what the Igwe and I will do to you the next time we will see you close to our daughter. Now, leave this compound. Get out! Just 
I told you to stop following the princess around. You wouldn't have believed it. Look at it now. Huh? Afan, please, please. Tell me. Is it a crime to fall in love with the princess? Is it a crime? Because I can't sleep without thinking about the princess. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> it is not a crime abomination to fall in love with a princess. In our land, Amawuzu, they believe that the rich can never marry the poor. Ibukonyoboy, it's not possible for you, get a princess. Mkumwa Mjeku. Oh, stop. 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 What is going on here? My princess, you're welcome. What is this? Don't tell me my parents did this to you. What's happening? My, my princess, don't worry. I will be fine. How can you say you'll be fine? Look at your body. Look at you. This is not fair. It is not fair. My, my princess. My princess. Don't worry, I'll be back. Let me finish now. Come back first. Hey, yeah. Chekube, I heard what happened. I was even the one that informed Aham. She was the one that told me that uh, you were taken to the palace by the guard. So that was why I came in search of you. Thanks. I appreciate. So how are you feeling now? I'm getting better. May the gods be praised. Go now. Go, I've heard you. Just go. I said go. You still come uninvited. Go now. Go, be good. Go.
Open this gate! Oh, my missus. Where's my mother? Mother, how could you? How could you and father beat up Chekube for nothing? Mother, that is wickedness. That is inhumanity. I told you your father was not going to take it easy with him. Didn't I? Huh? Oh, mother, spare me all that. It's, this is not just about father. You also had a hand in it. You do, mother. Do you want to know what happened? Well, your father took the decision to have Chekube punished. Mm. I don't have any hand in it. I was even the one that asked the guards to stop the punishment. And I advised the young man to stay clear from this palace. Oh, really, you do? Well, I know why you people are doing this. You are doing this to persuade me to marry Prince Tubin. But you know what? That will be over my dead body. So I advise you to, to let me be. Enough! I won't have you talk to me like that. I am your mother. Oh, really? You are my mother? A mother that does not care how her daughter feels? Is that a good mother? Shut up! You slapped me. No problem. Leave my presence now. I will leave. But that will not stop whatever I feel for Chikube. Leave! I don't want your greeting. Meaning? Oh, so I am now too small in your eyes to buy meat from you, okay? No, I'm asking. Sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand? Okay, let me ask you. Ever since you have been killing bush meat in this community, have you ever for one day come to me to know if I will buy bush meat or not? I'm asking you. <laughs> Maruka. That shouldn't be a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. All right. I promise. I will come and check on you once in a while and push me. Chekube, I don't need your push meat anymore. I have told you. In fact, Chekube, see, when our parents were alive, I knew how much value they had for themselves. In fact, when your father go to bush and hunt for meat and then come back, the first thing he will do he would, he, is to come to my father, to know if my father will buy or not. So, ever since they passed on, you changed, and you drew your lane. So, me, sir, I decided to draw my own lane too. My brother, like I said before, this shouldn't be a problem, okay? Henceforth, I promise, I will be coming to check on you with bushmeats. Jacobi, I have said it. I no longer need your bushmeats. You can keep your bushmeat to yourself. Or you take it to whomever that is interested to buy your bushmeat. As for me, Maduka, I no longer need your bushmeat. You can keep it to yourself. And let me warn you, Jacobi. See, 
Is it that my farmland? Don't step this your feet on my land again. Because the next time I see you step your feet on my land again, Tekube, you will have yourself to blame. I have owned you. I have owned you. My brother, it's not that serious yet. I've told you. What is the problem? We found him like this in his farmland. In his farmland? Yes. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. He's dead. Ah. We want to see Diwe. Diwe? Yes. I think. The villagers are here with a corpse. The villagers are here with a corpse? Yes, Your Highness. Whose corpse is that? I don't know.
did this? Igwe, this man was shot dead in his farmland. Beside him, we'll find out this guy. Who did this? Do anybody know who did this in Amamos? Who did this? My king, yes, yes I know. You know? Speak. Actually, my king, I was working <coughs> on my farmland, close to his own farmland. And the next thing I heard was a gunshot. So I quickly ran over just to know what was going on. And so I saw a man running away. Though I did, I did not see his face. But from his back, my king, I can actually tell who the person is. He's the person from this Amawosu. Yes, my king. He's an indigenous of Amawosu. And you know him? Yes, my king. I know him. Good. Do not help you out here. I am innocent. I am innocent. I don't even know this man. You don't know him. You mean you don't know him, but you killed him. Why, why would I kill someone I don't even know? I'm innocent. I don't know this man. I didn't kill him. I did not. <laughs> You sit there and lie to the king. Your Highness, I swear by the gods, I am innocent. I don't know this man. I don't know him. I will prove to the entire Amamus people that you are a bloody liar. Your Highness. Get the gun.
It's my God. But I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Die this. I'm innocent. And what was your God doing beside the dead man? Eyes of the gods, you are welcome. Praise be the gods that you're here. Because we have a situation in our hands here. Chekube here shot and killed this innocent young man. And he's here denying it. Eyes of the gods look into the matter and tell us what happened. Young man, why did you murder him? Is a more. If I have a hand in this, may the gods strike me dead. Someone framed me up. Why would I kill someone I don't even know? Shut up your mouth! Who framed you up? <laughs> I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Chekube, you have to go close to the cops and kneel down there. This is your gun and it was discovered around the cops. What then was your gun doing beside the cops? Who brought it? If you were not the one that murdered him, obviously you have murdered an innocent son of Amamuzu. As a more, this is conspiracy. I did not kill this man. I didn't. Believe me. Wise one, an eyewitness saw him pouring away from the scene of the murder. When the eyewitness heard the sound of the gun. Yes. For the last time, why did you do it? I mean, I said there's a more. Someone framed me up. Why would I kill a man I don't even know? I'm innocent. As a more I'm innocent. <laughs> Wise one, tell us who murdered this young man, if not Jacob. Yo <laughs> Eyes of the gods. 
the gods have just revealed the murderer of the young man. Tell us. Tell us. you about him, didn't I? I never knew he is more than what I thought he was. He more dead than an innocent farmer right inside his farm. May the gods forbid. Then the gods he didn't hurt you. It's okay. What's it good? What's it good? It's okay. Mother. What are they going to do to Chico? Mm. Exactly what they do to murderers like him. They, they might banish him from Amamuzu's land no. and never to return forever. No. Uh, maybe the gods might sentence him to death. No. Who knows? Believe this, Chikube of all people, Tufia Akwa. My sister, there are many wolves in sheep clothing. Chikube is just one of them. Who could believe he would do such a thing? But something is still bothering me. And what is it? <laughs> we all know that Chikube is a brave hunter in this village, and whatever his reasons are for killing the man, then why then will he also leave his school? That is what some people are also saying. My dear, I have a strong feeling that Chikube is innocent of that accusation. Because there is no man that will commit such a crime with his own gun and at the same time leave his gun in the seam of that crime. What do you mean? It's not possible. You're right. But my father told me that it is only the dead that understands the language of the spirits. 
The gods have already spoken. We have to take it that way. What do you think will happen to Chikubena? Hmm? If you ask me, who then will I ask? He have to face his punishment. But the punishment is not small one. No. I think it can be dead. Hey. Oh, poor boy. Innocent boy. Eh? No matter what happens, I still feel for him. No. I feel for him. Oh. Chekube the great hunter. I feel for him too. Oh. I feel for him. Chekube. <laughs> Is there more? If I have a hand in this, may the gods strike me dead. Someone framed me up. Why would I kill someone I don't even know? She know what shut up. No, you stop us in here. If you stop us in here again, eh? Make her come back here and hear your voice. Father, he is innocent. I know what I am talking about. Chekube is innocent. What are your proofs? I have no proof. But I know him. I know him even more than you know me, your only daughter. Chekube is innocent. But you were there when the chief priest said he did it. He you were did there. not. 
I perceive conspiracy here. Yes, Father. Who conspired against who? That boy is a bloody murderer. He is not a murderer. Not that I know him. I swear you do not know him as much as you think. You hate him. That poor orphan is suffering because he's got no one to stand for him. If anything happens to him, the gods will not be happy. Enough. Adure, enough. I have had enough. I am highly disappointed in you, Adure. You stand here before me to defend a murderer. Yes, Father. I know she could be. Father, this is not you. You do not take decision without doing your findings. Why is Chekube's case different? Why? You allow the poor boy to suffer for nothing? But you were there when the chief priest, who was supposed to declare him innocent, declared him guilty. What would you have me do? My king, that boy is a murderer that wants to tarnish the good image of Amamosu kingdom. Let him be punished severely as the gods pleases. I will do my finest. Yes, I will. And Father, if you cannot protect the interests of your only daughter, then I'm sorry to say, you are not a good king. Adure. Yes. Adure. That the king should support murder? No. I told you I love this boy. I want to be the mother of his unborn children. And here you are telling me what and what not the God said. I will do my findings and find out why the gods kept silence to allow this poor boy suffer for nothing. Yes, I will find out. What the hell is she talking about? Is she gone mad already? <laughs> <laughs> my husband, you already know that uh, Chekube is her friend. Thank the gods that things are happening this way. Let's wait for the decision of the gods. What do we do now? We can't just leave him there. We have to do something to help him out. But do you think he did it? No, he didn't do it. I know Chekube very well. Even, even if he doesn't love me. I know him and I know what he can do. Anyway, I've known Chekube right from when we were small. Chekube does not have any evil mind. I also believe that too. But I have my worries. Okay, Dibia said he did it. And you all know that the voice of Okedibia is the voice of the gods. Yes, but something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. And what it is is what I don't know. I don't know. Do I have my own worry? Yes. Look at it from this angle. From what uh, Madoka said, he said that the hunter that killed uh, the farmer. Yes was putting on Chekube's hunting attire. Mm. Even his own gun. Now, how do you balance that situation? How? Oh, the evil knows about it. Mm. Chief, how do you mean? Mm. This is just a way to punish Chekube for having a relationship with his daughter. Chief, watch what you say. Watch what you say, Chika. This is a very strong allegation you are laying to the king, Igwe. Ah, listen, it is like one going for a suicide mission. That's what you are doing now. I will advise you, don't allow any ear to hear it. Let it all remain here, please. Mm. But you know what? The truth cannot be buried for too long. The ghosts are not asleep. Chekube, if only 
you had listened to me. Just look at the trouble you have landed yourself to. So, what are we going to do now? Um, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to say or what to do. This is a mother case. Hey. Hey. It's a mother case. So, if you ask me, I don't know what to do. Um, you don't have to say this. Just what I'm going to do. Suggest something, Nafam. Yes. Eh? Just yes. do something. Okay, see. There is something in my mind. Though I don't know if it will work. Or, but unless we give it a try. Okay. Okay? Let's give it a try and listen. The one. What do you want here? Uh, we have come to see the Igwe. See the Igwe for what? Huh? See the Igwe for what? Uh, we want to see him about the uh, Chikube. To tell the Igwe about uh, Chekube that uh, he is innocent of the accusation. Chekube didn't do it. He's not a bad person. See, yes, he's my friend. I know him very well. Chekube does not have the heart to hurt anyone. He's just going about his hunting peacefully. Huh. Well, you are complaining to the wrong person. Yeah. Mm? Yes. So why didn't you tell us? Huh? So why didn't you tell us? Huh? You see why I asked you guys to take us to the Igwe? Huh? So, listen, my name, you know me now. Huh? My name is Ahame Fula. The Igwe would like to speak with me if he sees me. Can you please take us to the Igwe? Let us go and see him. Huh? Why is it that people will just wake up in the morning, leave their house without their brain? I mean, their sense of reasoning. We are telling you that Igwe doesn't want to see anybody around this vicinity that will come in here and tell him rubbish about that mother, Chikube. So you people have to leave now and wait to hear from the gods. Hey! God. Huh? If you don't have to with the gods. Hey. So this is, it has entered the gods now. Genti, let me tell you. There must be something to do. Let us see. Even if it is queen, let us see somebody in the palace. Yes. Eh? Take us to, to, to him. Is there nothing we can do to see anybody inside? There is nothing you can do to see somebody inside to help you. Okay, see. Can we at least see Chekube? Eh? We don't know if he has eaten or not. Eh? Young lady, you don't understand the situation on ground. If you go appetite, comes out here and sees any of you, he won't leave here with your head on your neck. Mm. And I will be the one to behead all of you. Hey, yeah. Nonsense.
Chica, Chica, oh, you are here. Eh? I heard that Chekube will be banned from Amosu today. There you are. Let us go now. Eh? Um, I know that already. Oh, you do? Yes. So why are you here? Listen, my worry here is uh, if Chekube is banished from Amosu today, where will Chekube stay? Eh? Is it in the bush or where? That's my problem. Afam, I've already made my plans. Huh? Yes. What are you doing? I'll be taking Chekube to my maternal home in Nibu. He will stay there with them. Huh? But Afam, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I, won't, I won't do anything like that. Let it be between me and you. And that person should not hear it. Ah, no go try her. Ah, you know now. I will try it. Go carry it. Let's go. No, no. Is it a good night to fall in love? I'm also so kind of. I'm a dinner. I'm a good night. Love a princess. My princess, you don't have to do this yourself. You have been crying all day, and it's not good for you. My princess, it was good. Maybe the gods never destined both of you to be together. Who knows? And if they destined it, you two will definitely be together. Jokubi is not dead. He was only banished from the land. Yes, my princess. Giving you all the hope that one day both of you may still see again. If only the gods willing. My princess. My princess, please stop this. Okay, if you insist. Okay. My princess. Of all the maidens in this palace, you are the only one I can confide in. Because you are a nice person. Thank you, my princess. Oh yeah, I'll need your help. Whatever you want me to do, I will do so. Okay. In all sense of human in you, I want you to tell me, do you think Chikube is innocent of this accusation? My princess, I saw innocence in his eyes and in his voice. When he pleaded for mercy, hmm. what I did not know is that why and who do this to frame him up? Are you trying to say he is innocent? Yes. Hmm. Then I think I know who did it. You do, my princess. Yes, I do. Shekube is a good person. He can never kill anyone. And now he's been banished from this land. Someone plots to separate us. Who could that be?
Now, can I trust you? Yes, my prince, I can always confound in me. I think someone in this palace did it. What? Who could that be? Ask me to bring this to you for the job well done. Mm. Return to the queen. Tell her thank you. But also tell her that she should stop sending gifts. I really do appreciate. But any more of these gifts, I will not welcome it. Hmm? You can keep them down. I beg to take my leave. I will return your message when I get to the palace. May the gods lead you. Followed him up to the go to Chukwe's house and gave him the items. Are you saying my mother gave him the items? Yes, my princess, she did. That was what I heard from the guard. What business does my mother have with the chief priest? My princess, Iwama is in two this time. Maybe the gifts were just. I don't think so. If there's anyone to give the chief priest gift for the Igwamala, it should be my father, not my mother. My princess, I also heard something. You heard something? Yes, my princess. What did you hear? The guard said something while presenting the gift. What did he say? He said that your mother, the queen, sent you to present the gift to the chief priest. I also thank you for a job well done. A job well done? What job? I don't even know, my princess. He said that your mother sent him to the chief priest to present the gift. Hmm. I see. It means the cat is about to jump out from the bag. Is there any problem with this? Is? No, nothing to worry about. Let's go. Go. I delivered the items directly to him. Are you sure no one saw you while going to his house or even followed you? My queen, not to my notice, but I followed the track road that led to the stream and I diverted to his house. Getting to his house, nobody was even with him. Okay. You did a good job. Thank you, my queen. But he told me to tell you that you should stop sending him gifts. Neither do I have the plans of sending him more gifts. You may leave. Okay, Dibia. You've done your part. And I have done mine. 
I think the deal is done. Nice working with you. <laughs> You are a disgrace to royalty, an embarrassment to my throne. Father, what have I done again? What bad have you not done because of your arrogance and effeminate and nonchalant behavior? You have ruined the relationship I have with my good friend Igwe Apete of Amawozuzu Kingdom. Oh, Father, it's not my fault. That princess of a girl is not ready to get married. And I'm even sure she doesn't even know what she wants. Shut your mouth up. Shut your mouth up. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Do you know that you are of royalty? Do you even know whose child you are? Do you know you are of royalty? Father, I know I am a prince. And that is why I hate talking about people who are not my class. I regret having you as my son. The death of your mother has dealt a big blow on my royal family. If she were alive, she would have given birth to another child to replace you. Father! Don't father me. You help me. I wish not to be disturbed. I want to be left alone. As it pleases you, my friends. so much pain and have brought disgrace to the royal family. Father, please forgive me. I promise to be a changed person. Is this a calculated attempt to ridicule me or something? Not at all, Father. I know I have caused you so much pain. But I am a changed person now, Father. I promise to go back to Amorozozo and apologize to the princess and properly ask her hand in marriage. What makes you think that the princess will accept your hand in marriage? Especially as an irresponsible prince that you are. Father, I am no longer that irresponsible prince. I am a changed person now. All I ask for is a chance to be a better son again. Father, please. I have told you before, and I will repeat myself. You are a disgrace to royalty. Now, leave my presence. Father, I said leave my presence. Father, I said I'm sorry. Leave my presence! My princess, I am very, very sorry for everything. I realize that there is more to life than royalty. Please, 
I have made a fool of myself all this while, and I feel so ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh, the Almighty Kubain. Is this really you? Yes, my princess. But I am no longer that Dubim you used to know. I am a changed person now. You are a changed person now? Yes, my princess. This is unbelievable. What really happened? Is this some kind of trick or something or what? It's not a trick, my princess. It pains me to remember that I have hurt so many people in the past. And I can't go back to apologize. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. We can make this work, my princess. I promise you. Now listen to me, or whatever you're called. I gave you audience not because you are one special visitor to this house, but because I am not in the mood for quarry. But I can see you don't have anything to say. Excuse please, me. Please, my princess. Please, forgive me. I am not your class. Those were exact words to me. And yet you kneel down like a little child asking for balls of Akara. For real? I know you're very, very angry with me, my princess. But I want you to know one thing. Change is the only constant thing in life. I am a changed person now. Please, forgive me. Wait till I call my guards to throw you out of this compound. Then you will truly know I am not your class. Take your hands off me. Guards! cost you so much pains and I I know I've not been a very good son but father I'm a changed person now please forgive me father I beg of you please That is why I want to beg everybody I have wronged in the past, directly or indirectly, to forgive me. I beg you, Your Highness, I am very, very sorry for my previous attitude. Please forgive me. My son, we have heard you. Your father had told me everything before you came. So, we forgive you. My princess, I know you are very, very angry with me, but I want to beg you, please don't see me as that formal, proud and arrogant to be. This is a brand new to be. Please, I'm very, very sorry for everything I've done to you in the past. Please forgive me. I have made up my mind to marry you. 
my princess. Okay. <coughs> my beautiful daughter, please, I want to plead on behalf of the prince. Since he has said he is sorry, please do forgive him. Mother, please, I don't have time for this right now. Besides, you know I'm not in a good mood. The thought of... Um... Uh, that is by gone. Just gone. Please, my daughter, do this for your father and I. Please. My beautiful daughter, the rising son of Amongozuzu Kingdom. The most beautiful princess in the whole universe. Oh, <laughs> yes. Grandson of Nkum, the fearless warrior. Can you withstand the wrath of the gods? Little child, who are you and where are you coming from? Where I'm coming from is not important. My question is can you withstand the thunder of the gods when it strikes? The gods only punish those that disobey them. Do you think you haven't offended the gods? Okay, Dibia. You have desecrated the land. And the gods are angry with you. You must go and open up. Tell the people what you did. Else, the gods will pour their wrath on you. Little child, who are you? The breast of my mother has sour. The ghosts that once fed me are today after my life. What is 
the meaning of this. Because of our, my fathers, I know I have offended you. But could you tell the people about what I did? It's too much for me. How will the people of Amosus feel? What is the meaning of this? Why have you come to me with sudden destruction on our ways? Gods of our Father, please tamper justice with mercy. I know that I have gone astray, but to tell the people what I have done is too much for me. What sacrifice do you require from me? Cow, fat ram, goat, cox, name them. Ah, okay, dear. The grandson of Nkuma will have it. <laughs> I can't even imagine how the whole thing happened. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine it. it. It happened dramatically. You accepted the mother. I have not even accepted him for it. I saw it in your eyes. So what? You are in love. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what we've been praying for. You and Prince Duben will make perfect couple. I'm sure. Mother, for crying out loud, we've not even accepted. Oh, 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 what are you waiting for? Your father will be happy to hear about it. Mother, please, considering what happened in the past, it's not going to be easy. I, I understand you, my daughter. I perfectly understand you. The quarrel you had with Prince Duben has not changed anything. Then the gods you've made up with him, like he told you, he's now a changed person. His father can even attest to that. So, grab the opportunity of becoming the next queen of her mother. Mm. <laughs> Princess 
Thank you, Your Highness. You're welcome to my honorable palace. Thank you, Your Highness. By the way, how are your parents? Oh, you're doing great. They sent their regards, Your Highness. Oh, that's great. That's good. <laughs> ah. Oh, dear. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. I can see both of you are getting acquainted. Um, <laughs> let me excuse you. Hmm? Little boy, who are you? And what are you doing here at this time of the night? How did you get into this palace? You must tell everyone what you did. Your end has come. What nonsense end are you talking about? You must tell everyone what you did. Else, you will know no peace. You have stained your hands with an innocent blood. Your end has come. What nonsense end are you talking about? Now get out of this place. Get out! What is it? It was just a dream. A, a dream that made you scream like this? What is this dream all about? Can you please explain? Yes, explain. Get up. Go around the compound. Check if there is anything you can observe. Can you please? Oh, you help me with the touch. Around the compound. the chief priest. I cannot tell. Is he going mad or something? To see how far the God forbid that the chief priest of Amamuzu will go mad. It is not possible. Then why are you shouting like a madman? I think something is wrong. Hmm? We'll find out later. Father, I do not need a soothsayer to tell me that Prince Dubain is not a changed person. Come on, you are saying that. <laughs> yes, Father. Well, um, they said they will be coming tomorrow. Oh, are they coming to perform the marriage rites? I wouldn't know. All I know is that they said they will be coming tomorrow. Oh, okay. 
here since they are coming tomorrow. I think I will use that opportunity to invite them to the uh, Wabara festival that is happening this weekend. That will be fine, my husband. With uh, Ibora on the Wabara day, it is going to be a great occasion. You can say that again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my princess. <laughs> Where are you talking about? The Kumbe the hunter that was banished from our land. The gods request that he should be brought back immediately. Look for him and bring him back. Summon all the elders. Summon the whole people of Amawe Shuzu. Oh, an error is to be corrected. And if this error is not corrected, the whole land of Amawe Shuzu will become a history. Oh, oh, please forgive me. Oh, oh, please forgive me. Oh, please forgive me. Oh, please Father, we have to do what he said. The gods have spoken. What is the chief priest trying to do? I hope it is not what I'm thinking. No, he won't dare it. If he dares me, I will show him the other side of Queen Odarama. What in the name of the gods is wrong with him? Why is he asking for the return of Jehube? And what is the error to be corrected which he said? Hey, okay, Dibia. You are playing with fire. And you have to watch your back before you are ba You are playing with with fire. Okay, Dibia. You are playing with fire. And you have to watch your back because you are about to be burnt. I realize that the truth cannot be buried forever. Igwe, I do not know if you will ever forgive me for this. Tekube, hear my story. And do not be surprised for what you will hear. <clears throat> People of Amangosus, hear me out. Chekube is innocent of the accusation. Father, did you hear that? I, I knew it. Did you hear this man? What is he talking about? Okay, Bibia, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Igwe, please forgive me. I lied to you and the people of Amongus. Okay, Libya. In the name of the gods, what do you really mean? 
Chekube did not kill anybody. It was the queen that asked me to be a false witness against Jacobe. the whole thing. So your problem is that you no longer want the existence of Tekube in our land? Yes. Then how do we go about it? Okay, Dibi. Anyhow you want to do it, do it. It is okay with me. Just deal with that boy. I agree. I agree with the idea to set him up, just like you earlier said, and he is a hunter. We can use that means to frame him up. Is that okay by you? Yeah. What is this? What are you? What is this? Special day for the royal family. Especially for me. Yes. yes. Your Everything is ready. Really? What about the drinks? Everything is ready. And where is the guard? Your honor, it's outside. Oh, he's out there already. In that case, son, we have to start leaving. Son. telling us now is the truth how come because the story we had was that the man who killed the young man was putting on Jacobe's hunting attire and also carrying his gun so tell us what happened please Igwe. I will, I will tell you how it happened. I will tell you how it happened. Uh, uh, please open up. Tell Igwe how it happened. Open up. Tell him. Tell him what? Tell him what, okay, Dibia? Tell him. There's nothing what to hide. Open up. Tell him how it happened. Tell Igwe how it happened, please. Tell him. What nonsense are you talking about? Ah! Ah! I will confess. I will confess. Ah! I will confess! I will confess! Your Highness! It was one that watched a woman's hunting attire. Greetings, America. You could keep your greetings to yourself, okay? I don't need it. I said I don't want your greeting. Meaning? Oh, so I am now too small in your eyes to buy meat from you, okay? 
No, I'm asking. Sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand? Okay, let me ask you. Ever since you have been killing bush meat in this community, have you ever for one day come to me to know if I will buy bush meat or not? I'm asking you. <laughs> Maruka, that shouldn't be a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. All right, I promise. I will come and check on you once in a while with bush meat. Chekube, I don't need your bush meat anymore. I have told you. In fact, Chekube, see, when our parents were alive, I knew how much value they had for themselves. In fact, when your father go to bush and hunt for meat and then come back, the first thing he would do he would, he, is to come to my father to know if my father will buy or not. So ever since they passed on, you changed and you drew your lane. So me, self, I decided to draw my own lane too. My brother, like I said before, this shouldn't be a problem, okay? Henceforth, I promise, I will be coming to check on you with bushmeats. Jacobe, I have said it. I no longer need your bushmeats. You can keep your bushmeat to yourself, or you take it to whomever that is interested to buy your bushmeat. As for me, Maduka, I no longer need your bushmeats. You can keep it to yourself. And let me warn you, Jacobe, see, you see that my farmland? Don't step this your feet on my land again. Because the next time I see you step your feet on my land again, Tekube, you will have yourself to blame. I have owned you. I have owned you. My brother, it's not that serious yet. I told you. This is bad omen. My father once told me that when you encounter things like this on your way to hunt, it simply means the coast is not clear. This is a bad sign. Come on, you 
How dare you? How dare you, Otimbu, plot this outrageous thing under my roof, Otimbu? Why? Kindness. It was not my wish to do it. I was forced. I will you shut up? Chekube, please, forgive me. Yigwe, the gods say that Chekube should be allowed to make his request. And whatever request he should make will be granted to him as an apology for the wrong accusation. Else, the land of Amawesuzu will face calamity. My son, please. Please come back. We are sorry for what happened to you. Please come back. I never knew. It never occurred to me that you are being framed up. Don't blame me for anything. Uh, I am sorry. me for anything. Forgive me and forgive our people, the people of Amamos. We are sorry. But please do regret the action we took against you. As the gods have said. Make your request, my son. Make your request and it will be granted unto you now. I knew a day like this will come. I knew that the gods will surely vindicate me. You said I should make a request. Fine and good. What then happens to the innocent man that was killed? What happens to his family? The gods also spoke on his behalf. Igwe, the gods say that you should divide your wealth into two and give a part to the family of the dead farmer. Okay, Dibia, did I hear you well? Yes, that is the instruction from the gods. The family of the late farmer should be compensated. And Chikube should be allowed to make his request. Yes! yes. The land of Amawesu will face calamity. All these things happened just because I fell in love with the princess. Princess Adure. Is it a crime to fall in love? 
I know you all are expecting me to make a harsh request. But I won't. Because revenge is for the weak. I don't need anything from the royal household. I am happy with the fact that the dead man will be compensated. As for marriage, I have decided to marry that woman that stood by me. The woman that showed me love when you all rejected me. A rare woman of virtue. She is no other. And Chica. Evil Otingbu, you are hereby banished from Amangosu Kingdom. Get out. Chirunta, one of my damn, I can't deny a man. 